We need to put off the old man, the man that was corrupted within the world. We need to put it off and put on the new man. It's a whole transformation. It's not a, it's not a painted kind of thing. Get it. The book of Jeremiah told us that reprobate silver men shall be called because God has rejected them. So I started to ask myself what this really is. The surface looking like silver. But when we drill Inside, yes. it has some other material. Yes. We look in like Christians and soldiers outside. But when we look at the heart, when we're talking about renewing the mind, outside must look silver and inside must be silver. Outside must look like the things of God, and the inside must look like the things of God. We will be rejected if we only want to be painted silver. When we do not change our mind, when we do not transform our mind, it becomes harmful to us as believers. Go on, go on. Ezekiel going down to the valley of dry bone. The dry bone represented the house of Israel. Yes, yes, yes. How many of us are dry bones? Because we do not want to transform our mind. That's good. How many of us have no substance at all? Because we do not want to transform the renewing of the man. We want to live in the church and live in the world at the same time. A car had to reprobate silver. My Lord. My Lord. You want to dress like the world and then dress like the church. Can't happen. Reprobate silver. Your yes. hmm. conversation can't be of the world. Yes. And when you come to church, you spit in like gospel. Hmm. Can't happen. Reprobate silver. Come on, come on, come on. With the transformation of the mind, everything must be done and said for the honor and glory of the Lord. Anytime you want to mix up the world and mix up the things of God, problems will take place. Rejection will take place. God don't want no half a Christian. Even the whole Christian. You don't want no half a, a half a serving God. Youths today, or they really are. The things that you want, what charm you? Young men, women, what charm you? But you all got to know which part you all serve. It is vain for us to rise up early. Set up late. Eat. And still eat the bread, the bread of sorrow. Put on the new man which God had created in righteousness and holiness. That's, that is our way. To be righteous. And to be holy. This is what we walk into to be righteous and to be holy. 
will be like this. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the young world. No standeth in the way of sinners. No seated in the seat of this court. I come to tell you if you are the old mindset. You could be sitting, standing, everything. The things that God does not desire. Set your minds on the things that is above. And not the things that are on, that are in the world. Set your mind on God because it is He that has created us and not we ourselves. He is the Holy of Holy. He is the Alpha and the Omega. When your mindset is not renewed, you set your mind on everything that the world has to do. Amen. Yes. That is true. So true. Amen. The house, the car, the yes, money, yes, the woman, yes, the yes, man, yes, everything. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hmm. When you renew your mind, you have no time to study God. Because the pleasures of the world is that way, please. But I come to tell you to renew your mind and stay focused on the promise. <laughs> Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things has passed away and behold the new. Ask God. When you are in Christ, all the old sinful, dirty ways will now be passed away. The word says to deny yourself. The problem with the church today, we don't want to deny ourselves. Yes. The problem with the church today, the things of the world charms us so much that we don't want to sacrifice it hmm. for eternal life. There was a man in the word of God. He had all the riches, living nice. He had Jesus now. But sell all they have. Give it to the poor and come and follow me. But before he was so connected, he was so connected to the things of the world that he didn't want to Amen. detach, Amen. To attach to the things of God. Reprobate silver. Because when God said, to us, yeah, 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 I follow him, he come and been long time. But he still go on to the things of the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. First John 2.15 If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. So say no to the world and say yes to the Father. The Father is calling us, but are we ready to answer the call? The Father wants us, but are we ready to go with him? I am in this faith for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I come to me nine months that I was in my mother's belly. And I never and will never turn on the law. The world is behind me. And my Savior is in front of me. Where he leads me, I will follow. I will follow. You stop there. If you do not renew your mind, you will never say that openly. Yes. Because there will be some obstacles that you will have to face that you wouldn't want to face. God is a kind of amazing God. That he will see you live in the world. He will take you. He will wash you. He will cleanse you. He will fill you with his word. And the same people that you was rhyming with is the same people you don't want to minister to. The renewal of your mind is for a lifestyle. It's not just for this pilgrimage alone and next two weeks you renew. You say you renew your mind and you go back. Yeah, it's huge, you might like to party. But this should be your party. You might like some company, but the company not according to the word of God. Sometimes you have to let them go and let your brothers and sisters in Christ. Be a company. Amen. 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 When we're talking about renewing your mind, the filthy things that are in your mind, it shall now be part. And the holy things and the righteous things be there. Yes. Your walk, that crooked soul, yes. must be straight. You must be now preparing to become upright. Tell what the psalmist declared the Lord know it. The we are the righteous. But the way of the ungodly shall, shall perish. The way of the righteous, God know it. So I want you all youths to live righteously. And do not live upwards. So I pray God today that He keep you all. I pray God today. That next year around the same time, we will see these youths and more youths. Yes. I pray God today that you all will be able to administer the word of God. Yes. Step by step, higher and higher. Yes. Be cleansed by the word. See the word? Prophet us now. Do you see the word? Prophet us. The word is the most expensive thing. Because all who live in riches on earth and do not do not accept the word will die right here. But all who live humble serving the Lord, the, the Lord I God and not being reprobate silver, the kingdom of God is the everlasting. So I pray God that he keep each and every one of us. Stay strong. That no man despise the youth. But I urge you today, you, you be example. You be the light. It's not only about coming to church and play drum, but it is about a lifestyle. Amen. 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 Drum to talk. But I want each and every one of the youth. Not everybody might be preachers, you know. Mm -hmm. But you must know the word of God. Amen. 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 People just think that everybody is to come up here mm -hmm. and preach. Mm -hmm. But sometimes a nice small conversation. Amen. True. 
And you tell them, thus said the Lord. Yes. That's it. And that person will say, bye-bye to the world. Yes. And God will give you all. Yes. Know which yes. one to do in whom you serve. Present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which, which is your reasonable service. The word is a light unto your feet, a lamp unto your back. Walk in the world. Jesus is your shepherd. He will guide you. He will guide you through every storm. He will guide you through every earthquake. The turbulence will come. The people that support you, sometimes will be the people that will be against you. But I want you to know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. This is the first time on this water that I've grown. And I pray, God, that it may not be my last. Amen. But live righteous. If it's the last time I hear, I should see you on the road and see the Christian in you. And not the world in you. Amen. And it is not only for the youth, yes. but it's for the elders too. Yes. Because some behaviors of the elders is not a light to the community. It's not a light to the youth. And it makes no sense that we labor all this time and we still in the old mindset. Trouble and trouble come sometimes we just end up in the old mindset. But we need to stop that from happening. When the children of Israel cross the Red Sea, Moses gone up. Moses taken to the Them start to build calf mm. because their mind went back to Egypt. Yeah. All right. All right. But I pray God today that your mind will go back, but your mind will be renewed and press forward yeah. to the mark of the high court. This is the will of mind.